Hello folks, welcome back to KSR Jiu Jitsu Tactical. My name is Rick Torres and I'm your instructor for the day. This is part two of how to use proper presentation with your firearm when you're in a situation that calls for you to draw your weapon. Uh, we're going to be working outside of the holster in a future video. I'm going to show you how to work from an inside the waistband type of draw. First of all, proper safety. Number one, we're going to pull the magazine out of the pistol. As you can see, there's nothing here. There's no ammunition. I'm going to secure our magazine. I'll bring the pistol back out. And we are going to do a visual check. There's no ammunition. I'm doing a press check. I'm going to call in Kyle to do a secondary press check. There's no ammunition. He gives me a thumbs up, so we're good to go. If you're wondering what I'm using, this is a Glock 19. Uh, it's a very, very good, versatile firearm used by many police officers all around the world and military. So, that being said, we talked about the interview stance. The interview stance is very important to understand. You never ever, if we're in a situation, number one is first of all, I don't want this guy this close to me. So I'm going to take some motion to move back and get some clearance between he and I as we're engaging and we're talking. If he continues to move toward me, back up, back up. And if he continues, and especially if he has a weapon in his hand, then you are justified in using deadly force. Now, if he's going to hit you with his bare hands and you draw your weapon, you may be in quite a bit of trouble, okay? It would be under the inference that I felt that my life was in total imminent danger. Uh, and so normally that's going to happen weapon to weapon. And so... As Kyle is here, I'm talking to him, sir, back up, please, back up. Now notice I've cleared my hand, or more standard, right here, right here, which is the proper way to do it, is to bring your hand to your chest. A lot of times in the adrenaline dump, you may have to bring your hand back here. Do not let your hand dangle in front of your pistol. That's so, so dangerous. So the best way to do it is the moment you push him back, you rock and you lock, because you're not gonna rely on your front sight or your rear sight at this type of distance. The reactive gap is very close. And if I am coming out correctly out of my holster, as I push him back, my hand comes in. If you watch, stay right there, Kyle. I'm gonna walk toward him. I'm gonna walk straight. And you will see that this pistol, the muzzle, will go straight to his chest. So at that distance, it's not important for you to come out and acquire a front sight. That's ridiculous. You'll probably wind up getting your weapon maybe taken away from you or worse. So again, step back, sir, step back! And if he chooses to re-engage, and he has a weapon, I can shoot him from here and work my way up, 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 up. Then I come back, I'll take my second sight, the guy's on the ground, he's still a threat, no, one, two, I will take my finger off the trigger, I will scan, I will look around, make sure that he's no longer a threat, I will then go into the low ready position and reholster and call 911. So a bladed interview stance is very, very critical for you to keep that individual away from your weapon. Let's say Kyle has a knife and he's coming toward me. Step back, step back, bam. He's done before he reaches me, right here. As you can tell again, if I walk toward him, the muzzle of the pistol is pointed right into his center. So folks, don't be an easy victim for anybody. If you're going to carry a weapon, know how to use it. We'll see you next time for KSR Jiu-Jitsu Tactical Tip of the Week. Take care.